There are two types of equations we need to be able to solve. The first type is the modulus of ax plus b equals the modulus of cx plus d. We know the fact that two moduli are equal is equivalent to two squares are equal. Therefore, in order to solve this type of equations, we square both sides. For example, solve the modulus of 2x minus 1 equals the modulus of x minus 2. Square both sides, we get 2x minus 1 squared equals x minus 2 squared. We can open both brackets, move terms around, and collect like terms. However, it's easier to change it to 2x minus 1 squared minus x minus 2 squared equals 0, and use p squared minus q squared is p plus q times p minus q. So it is factorized into, 2x minus 1 plus x minus 2, times, 2x minus 1 minus x plus 2. This is 3x plus 3 times x plus 1 equals 0. Therefore, x is either 1 or minus 1. Here's another example. Solve the modulus of 2x minus 1 equals the modulus of 3x plus 4. Square both sides, we get 2x minus 1 squared equals 3x plus 4 squared. It is 2x minus 1 squared minus 3x plus 4 squared equals 0. Factorize it into, 2x minus 1 plus 3x plus 4, times, 2x minus 1 minus 3x minus 4. This is 5x plus 3 times minus x minus 5 equals 0. Therefore, x is either minus 3 over 5 or minus 5. The second type is the modulus of ax plus b equals cx plus d. One side has modulus and the other side doesn't. For this type of equations, we solve them by sketching the graph, and remember to always check your answers. For example, solve the modulus of 3 minus 2x equals x plus 2. First we sketch the graph of both sides. y equals the modulus of 3 minus 2x is v-shape, and touches the x-axis at 3 over 2. The left part is 3 minus 2x for x less than 3 over 2. Therefore, we need to solve 3 minus 2x equals x plus 2. The solution is x equals a third. It is less than 3 over 2 so it's good. The right part is 2x minus 3 for x greater than 3 over 2. So 2x minus 3 equals x plus 2. Therefore, x is 5. It is greater than 3 over 2, so it's good. Therefore, there are two solutions. x is a third or 5. For the second type, there could be one solution only. For example, solve the modulus of 3 minus 2x equals 3x plus 2. First we sketch the graph of both sides. y equals the modulus of 3 minus 2x is v-shape, and touches the x-axis at 3 over 2. The left part is 3 minus 2x for x less than 3 over 2. Therefore, we need to solve 3 minus 2x equals 3x plus 2. The solution is x equals 1 fifth. It is less than 3 over 2, so it's good. The right part is 2x minus 3 for x greater than 3 over 2. So 2x minus 3 equals 3x plus 2. Therefore, x is minus 5. It is less than 3 over 2, so it's not a valid solution. If we look at the graph, we can see the two lines, y equals 2x minus 3, and y equals 3x plus 2, meet below the x-axis. The modulus function only has the positive half, so the intersection is not a valid solution. Therefore, there's only one solution. x is one-fifth. For the second type, there could also be no solutions. For example, solve the modulus of 3 minus 2x equals x minus 4. First we sketch the graph of both sides. y equals the modulus of 3 minus 2x is v-shape, and touches the x-axis at 3 over 2. The left part is 3 minus 2x for x less than 3 over 2. Therefore, we need to solve 3 minus 2x equals x minus 4. The solution is x equals 7 over 3. It is greater than 3 over 2, so it's not a valid solution. The right part is 2x minus 3 for x greater than 3 over 2. So 2x minus 3 equals x minus 4. Therefore, x is minus 1. 
it is less than 3 over 2, so it's not a valid solution. If we look at the graph, we can see that both solutions are below the x-axis. Therefore, there are no solutions. In this class, we learned. To solve the modulus of ax plus b equals cx plus d, we square both sides. To solve the modulus of ax plus b equals cx plus d, we sketch the graphs, try to solve the left and right part separately, and remember to check if the solution is in the right range.